What's good, everybody? Ordinary, extraordinary brother in the he's a baby. Right back at you, bro. Ordinary, extraordinary brother at your service. No doubt, no doubt. And today I'm going to be talking about um the trend that's been going on for a long time. It's probably been going on since before I was born. But the trend of encouraging destructive, toxic, disrespectful behavior. And let me explain to you what I mean. When you see these videos on YouTube, you see them on TikTok, of people being disrespectful, causing destruction and chaos, and just being trifling. But we got to understand this goes back further. When I was a little kid in the 80s, they would encourage people to fight each other. If people got into an argument, they were trying to hype that, especially in the hood, to try to get them to fight. And what was interesting is people would be angry if they squashed the beef and did not fight. They were trying to press you to fight. They were trying to get you to fight for free without paying you. If we would have been smart back then, we would have started charging people to see those fights. And that's what people should do now. They should be charging people to see fights. You want us to fight? Sure. You pay us. But anyways, that's a different topic, a different uh, conversation. But they were encouraging each other to fight all the time and stuff like that until gunshots ring out. Of course, then that's a problem then. But um, people like that chaos too. And when it comes to TV, which what the topic really is about, this started with Jerry Springer. And it probably was shows before that. But Jerry Springer was one of the first ones to really go full-scale toxic. Full scale, disrespectful, disgraceful, and I'm not going front. I used to think it was funny, and I used to watch that show. I used to want to see people get into fights and stuff like that on the show. Like I'm not going front. Now I never was an instigator in real life because I didn't want anybody to get hurt because I thought the Jerry Springer show was scripted. I'm not sure if it was or if it wasn't, but the audience in the Jerry Springer show was just as toxic as some of the audiences are today. They encouraged the disrespect. They disrespected the people that were on the show. And they made all these jokes. And they were very um, low-level, very low-class people that would come to that show. And I have to admit that I was low-class myself for wanting to see that sort of stuff. And you can tell in general that things are starting to drop. Because even with Maury Povich, he wasn't doing the whole, you are the father, you're not the father. That's the only thing you see him doing. In the past, he talked about other topics, topics that had um, weight to it, things that people could think about and things that people could understand. But now it's just, you are the father, you're not the father. That's all he's coming up with these days. And I guess that's all people want to see. And it seems like people are more likely to want to watch stuff that's base level, that's destructive, that's chaotic, that's disrespectful, and that's negative, as long as they're not the one being disrespected, of course. Instead of watching something that's positive, instead of watching something that's educational, something that's instructional, something that teaches you something, something that can help you learn and become a better person and can improve your intelligence. And it seems like people just want to zone out. People just want to watch a bunch of nonsense. They want to watch someone prank by pouring orange juice on someone's head or by scaring someone or doing something that's totally stupid. Or they want to see people argue. They want to see people have drama. You know, um, people want to see discord and problems. People don't want to see people get along. And one thing I have to say is I think people love seeing black people fight one another and seeing black people argue with one another and disrespect one another. People wouldn't want to see two rappers work together. They would rather see them argue and fight and diss each other on tracks instead of working together to create masterpieces. They love the conflict. They love the drama with everybody, but especially with black people. They love to see black people go at each other. They love to see black people fight against each other, whether it's in the street or in a boxing ring. They just love it. Let's just be real about that. That's a whole nother uh, topic, whole nother conversation, right? But it's real. And what's happened also is uh, when you look at um, the TV shows, what they have done, instead of making shows like A Different World and The Cosby's Friends or whatever show you can name or something like Cheers or something like um, Law and Order, which is very expensive. You got to get the sets built. You have to hire professional actors. And you actually have to pay these people. And it's expensive to create a show like that. Even if you only have four or five people on it. If they're professional actors, 
you got to pay them and you got to go over your lines and all that. Acting is hard, really. But they cheaped out because these reality TV shows they started doing in the 2000s are cheaper to produce. You don't have to be a professional actor. In a lot of ways, it's scripted to create chaos, to create destruction. People are arguing back and forth. They're fighting one another. There's always some drama. And then this leads into like the whole YouTube TikTok thing where you have people running around doing prank videos. You have people running around saying things they shouldn't say, being disrespectful, and people are just egging this stuff on. And they did the same thing with Jerry. They did the same thing with the um, reality TV shows. And it's just on and on it goes. But I'm glad there are a group of people who want to watch things that are more deeper, more intelligent, things that make you think, things that make you learn. That's one thing I would, would say to young people. As young people, you know, you have to focus on your intelligence. You need to learn as much as possible. You need to be as smart as you can be. Because that's what life um, requires. And also, this is the time and the era to do so, because you can get a video about anything on YouTube. You can learn about other countries. You can learn about how any business works. You can learn so much. There's so much content out there that's positive, that's intelligent-based, and you can learn so much, and you can become so much more intelligent than a lot of these people that are just idiots out here, just base-level people who are only thinking on the base level about things. Who just say, oh, yeah, that's cool, man. They're fighting. Those kind of people are, are, are losers. And people that make money off of it, they're just losers that make money off of it. It's not nothing that excites me. And I can say as a man in his 40s, you know, this has always been a problem. This is not something that just started around 2015. This has always been a problem. Even before there was YouTube, people were this way in the streets, and they still are. And you got people that are older than me that, um, you know, they uh, applaud chaos. They champion and believe that chaos is great until something chaotic happens to them, of course. So they will uh, they'll cheer and egg somebody on. These people are old, older than me. There's a lot of young people that do it because they don't know no better because they ain't been taught no better. But I hope people begin to understand that, uh, you know, you can watch chaotic things, but you should also spend some time watching some things that are intelligent and you should learn to think you should learn how certain businesses work. You should learn how certain processes work. You should learn how political things work. It's important to be as intelligent as possible. So with that being said, Ordinary Extraordinary Brother at your service, and I am out. Y'all have a good day. Peace.